Okay, so this is part two of the congruence of angles and addition properties that goes along with your congruence and angle of angles and addition properties worksheet in your packet, as you can see here. Um, I just wanted to let you know that number 15 on this worksheet does go with the first figure, and this symbol right here, um, it's like an equal sign with a little squiggle on top. Um, that means congruent, and congruent means same measure. So this right here, that means congruent. And congruent basically is saying that it's the same measure. Okay, so keep that in mind as you're looking at number 15. Now the rest of the problems on the page actually go along with that second figure that's at the bottom of the page that I have drawn on my board here. And I want to go through just a couple of problems with you. Um, number 16, it asks you to name the largest angle. Now again, just like at the beginning, you don't want to get a protractor out. You're not measuring these angles. What um, we're doing is we're using our math and our naming properties to be able to um, name these angles um, and identify these angles and calculate different measures. Um, based on whatever the problem is asking you. So number 16 asks you to name the angle with the greatest measure. The angle with the greatest measure is just basically this part. And I'm going to have you name that on your own. I'm not going to do that for you. Um, and then number 17 um, asks you to do the angle, the measure of angle J Um, I K plus the measure of angle K I L. Okay, so you have to look at the image and determine what that is. So we're looking at J I K and then K I L. And we want to name that angle. So we're going to name it's these two angles right here. It's JIK and KIL, and those together are going to make, um, we're gonna say that this is equal to the measure of angle JIL. So that's what you're going to be writing for that. Um, this will be your answer right here. You're not actually finding a number measure, you're just naming the angle that it's equal to. Um, so if I look at number 19, number 19 asks us to find the measure of angle LIJ. Okay, so we are given the measure of angle KIJ is equal to 28. And the measure of angle LIK is equal to 39. So let's look at what angles we're given here. We are given KIJ and LIK. So we're given these two angles again. And we need to find the measure of angle L I J. And as you can see, L I J is made up of those two angles. So we are going to just take those two measures and add them together. That's going to, the measure of angle L I J is going to be equal to 28 degrees plus 39 degrees. So the measure of angle LIJ is going to be equal to 67 degrees. I will let you do 21 and 22 as bonus, but you should be able to complete those since we have been working on equations. They didn't give you an actual 
um, angle measure. They give you an algebraic expression for 21 and 22, um, but the same idea as what we're doing here applies. So you should be able to do those, um, but I will let you use those as bonus questions. So again, 21 and 22 will be bonus questions. All right, good luck. Let me know if you have any questions.